Street is a big store. They carry everything from furniture through to, to a delicatessen. They've got this wonderful big sign in the window. It says condoms, hand fitted while you wait. <laughs> I, I knew you'd be interested in that. <laughs> so anyway, I went in there and there was this very beautiful, very sultry young lady behind the counter. And she sort of eased around the end of the counter and she came over and she said, May I help you? I said, are you the one who fits the condoms? <laughs> she said, yes, I am. I said, well, wash your hands. I want half a pound of cheese. How <laughs> 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 well, about Ed Schrock and his daughters, wonderful singers? <laughs> 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 Thank you. He's a wonderful guy. He's been around here for ages, knows everybody in Holmes County. Mm -hmm. And um, he's very interested in animals, which is, is why he, he knows Joe Barger. <laughs> and Ed has, Ed has a bull, a prized bull. And that bull services most of the cows in Holmes County. And recently, the bull was sort of off its oats or whatever they get off. Anyway, he wasn't performing well. So Ed called in Joe, and Joe examined the ball, and he gave Ed this bottle of pills. Well, Ed gave half a dozen of these pills to the bull in the morning, and in the afternoon, the bull went out and he serviced 72 cows. So Ed was telling me about this, and I said, oh, that's fantastic. I said, what's in those pills? I said, I don't know, but it tastes like peppermint. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, of course, Ed, Ed back in August was down at the Holmes County Fair, and, and he was looking at the livestock there, and they had, um, he was very fascinated by the pigs, and at the end of the fair, he bought the prize sow, and uh, he took it home, got it home, and his neighbor, an Amishman, said, what, what are you going to do with the sow, Ed? He said, well, I, I don't know. I thought I might, you know, turn it into bacon and, and ham and it should see me through the winter. So his neighbor said, don't do that, Ed. No, we, we could make some money. I said, how? So his neighbor said, well, I've got this hog. And he's great. He services a lot of sows. Bring your sow over. We'll put him in with the hog. Let him do his duty. And you'll end up with a whole lot of piglets. You can make a lot of money. So I thought that was great. So I went home, looked at the, at the sow, and thought, well, how am I going to get it over there? So he is next door neighbor, but Ed doesn't have a pickup truck. Has a very nice cow, a very nice car, but you can't really stick a pick in the car. <laughs> so he looked around and he saw he got a big wheelbarrow there. So he managed to get the sow into the wheelbarrow. And he trundled it over to his neighbor, and they put it in with a hog, and a hog went to town, did his business. And so Ed said, well, what now? His neighbor said, well, you take it home. And tomorrow morning, look out. And if the sow is rolling in the, the, in the mud, then you know it's pregnant. But if it's just grazing, then it didn't work, and you need to bring it back, we'll do it again. So Ed loaded it in the wheelbarrow, I took it home. Next morning, he was up early, looked out the window, there's the sow grazing out. And Ed thought, ah. So he went down, loaded it in the wheelbarrow, took it over to his neighbor, Put it in with the, with, with the with, with the male pig. He did his business. He loaded it in the wheelbarrow, took it home. Next morning, up early, looked out. That's the sow grazing. Ah, go to it again. Well, this went on all week, every day. He took the, the pig over there. Came Sunday morning, and Ed was was kind of fed up with this. So he opened one eye at dawn, and he said to his wife, he said, Bob. Look out the window, tell me what the pig's doing. So Bob went over to the window and looked out. Ed said, what's she doing? Bob said, she's just sitting in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> 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 you know, they, they had a, 
a lot of accidents on, on the farms these days, unfortunately. I only saw just this week there was a, 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 a farmer who fell into a silo. But they had a very bad accident about a week ago. I don't know if you read about it. This farmer was out with his combine and he fell into the combine and he got decapitated. His head cut off completely. Well, they asked his brother if he would come down to identify the remains. So the brother went down there, went to the mortuary, went in, and the guy there, he, he opened the drawer, took out the head, held it up, he said, is this your brother? He said, no, he wasn't that tall. <laughs> Last week, I was just down the road here in the Kelvis, the, the, the bar there, and uh, I ordered a drink. I gave the barmaid $50, and I said, get something for yourself. She went down and bought a pair of jeans. <laughs> But I was sitting there in the bar, and I was, I was kind of depressed, and I was looking into my, my drink and, and thinking about things, and a voice said, you know, I can help you. I looked around, and I couldn't see anybody. I, I said, what? Who said? I said, I can help you. You've got troubles, haven't you? I can help you. And I looked, and I noticed just a couple of stools along from me, there was this little old lady. She looked to be about 100 years old, face covered with wrinkles, Nose almost eating her chin, an ancient lady. I said, but was that you said that? She said, yes, I, I can help you. I said, what do you mean you can help me? She said, you've got troubles, haven't you? I said, well, yes, as a matter of fact, I have. I've, I've got three major trouble, troubles. My, my wife has just run off with another guy. Uh, I'm worrying about that. I've lost my job, and, and I'm running out of money. She said, well, I can get you over, you see. I'm a fairy godmother. I said, you're what? She said, I'm a fairy godmother. She said, oh, I, no, I don't look the part now. I used to be so much prettier earlier on. I mean, people used to confuse me with, with, uh, with all sorts of wonderful people. Uh, they used to confuse me with Dolly Parton for two obvious reasons. Um, but um, unfortunately, gravity takes its toll. Uh, but uh, she said, I am a fairy godmother, and we fairy godmothers can grant wishes. And traditionally, we grant three wishes. So I can give you three wishes. I said, well, I, I don't know that I believe in this, but I mean, if, if that was so, then I would wish that my wife would come back and forget this other man. I would, I would wish that, that I would get my job back. I, I used to enjoy that job. And I would wish that I would get some money, perhaps win the lottery, something like that. She said, no problem. Just like that. She clicked her finger, which I can never do. Um, she said, there, it's taken care of. Three wishes granted. Well, I did immediately feel a whole lot better than that. In fact, I, I felt a whole load had been lifted off my shoulders. So I said, really, that's, that's fantastic. She said, of course, you're going to have to do something for me, you know. I said, well, anything, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to. She said, well, I, I want you to come back with me, come back to my house, spend the night with me, and make hot, passionate love to me all night long. I looked at her. I mean, I didn't really do a Donald Trump, but I, mean, <laughs> I looked at her. A hundred years old, wrinkled, I think she had a glass eye. Um, I thought, this, this would be horrible, oh my God. But then I thought, well, those three wishes are pretty fantastic, and it would only be for one night. So I said, okay, I'll do it. So we left the bar, we went down the corner, along to her house, went up to her room, and I spent the night thinking of to her. It was terrible. It was, it was horrible, I, I can't describe it. Anyway, first thing in the morning, I was up early, down the stairs, out the front door, Starting up the road, she hobbled to the door behind me. She called out, young man. I stopped to look back, I said yes. She said, thank you for a wonderful night. She said, but tell me, aren't you a little old to believe in fairy godmothers? <laughs> 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 